Today we'll talk about camera shutter count and the importance of it and as a bonus I'll also teach you how to check your camera shutter count. Firstly let me tell you that this is an important number to know if you're thinking of buying a used camera or selling one you own. The shutter count is the number of times the camera shutter has been activated since it was manufactured. It's like the kilometers on a car. It gives you an idea of how much the camera has been used and how much life is left in the shutter mechanism. I'm the type which I'd buy a camera body only when it's needed. I'm not upgrading because it's fun or because it's fancy or because it looks good to have the latest cameras on the market. I think right now there's not much difference between latest camera body and the previous generation nor to say the price difference but this is only my opinion. If you're thinking of buying a used camera which I would totally recommend since it devaluates fast. Actually it does already once it is leaving the shop from where you bought it. Think of it, you invest in a new one, you pay a tons of money on it and then what? Maybe you're not using it that much. Maybe you find photography or filming is not for you and you already spent a fortune on it. Maybe you just started and you need a camera to learn. Or maybe it's not paying off right now because you don't have enough clients and, and you now have your money invested actually stuck in a camera. Everyone talks about how awesome are the latest cameras on the market, what huge changes they bring, how they focus so fast. From my point of view, this is most of it marketing. Of course, it's a nice thing to have, but is it really a must? You need to ask that yourself. Now let's get back. It's important to check the shutter count before saying yes to buying it. A high shutter count could indicate that the camera has been heavily used which might mean it's more likely to have mechanical problems in the future. You know, a high shutter count isn't necessarily a deal breaker. It's more important to check the camera's overall condition and to test the shutter accuracy yourself. Let's have this as an example. Would you buy it if it would have only a shutter count of 50,000? It's missing some parts, it's missing grips. It looks as you played baseball with it. Even a camera with a high shutter count can still take great photos if it's been well maintained, taken care of, not kept in awkward or humid conditions. So I'm not saying that if you check the shutter count, this is the only thing that you need to check. No, if you own already a camera with a high shutter count, it might be a good idea to have it serviced by professional if it's needed. Maintenance is the key and professionals can clean the sensor and other components, lubricate the shutter mechanism and check any signs of wear or damage. Keep in mind the manufacturers usually say up to which number the camera can operate and if I remember correctly, if the shutter dies before that number and it's still under warranty, they'll be able to change it without paying a cent. Lower shutter count usually gives you peace of mind that your camera has plenty of life in it, which is one of the good things to know about your camera, right? So whether you're buying or selling a camera or just curious about the life of your own camera shutter, the shutter count is a number worth paying attention to. So as promised in the beginning, let's dive into how to check your camera's shutter count. Many years before, there were different softwares, usually from each camera manufacturer, and they were telling you what is the shutter count. Now it's a lot easier. Grab your camera and take a picture, regardless of what, regardless how it looks or the quality. Just snap one and don't edit it. Go to camerashuttercount.com. You can also find the link in the description. Hit choose file. Select the photo that you have just clicked and hit upload. Wait until it's uploaded and then you'll see the actual shutter count for the camera that just snapped the photo. This website covers the most camera models so you won't need to worry if you have a Nikon, Canon, uh, Sony or any other brand. That's it for today. Hope you find it useful. Remember, take care of your camera and it will take care of you. See you next time.